Finally, let's look at the United States, which has a vast and varied coastline facing diverse challenges. On the Atlantic coast, barrier islands in places like North Carolina are constantly migrating, a natural process that clashes with the desire for permanent beachfront development. In Louisiana, the Mississippi River Delta is disappearing at an alarming rate due to a combination of land subsidence, sea level rise, and the levees that prevent the river from depositing new sediment. On the Pacific coast, cliffs in California are crumbling, threatening homes and major infrastructure like the Pacific Coast Highway. The responses are just as varied, ranging from massive beach nourishment projects in Florida to heated debates about managed retreat in California where communities are grappling with the difficult decision to move away from the coast. When faced with an eroding coastline, humanity has developed a toolbox full of solutions, which can be broadly divided into two categories, hard engineering and soft engineering. Hard engineering involves building rigid, man-made structures to control the sea. The most common example is a seawall, a massive concrete or rock wall built parallel to the shore to absorb and reflect wave energy. While they can provide robust protection for the land directly behind them, they are very expensive and can cause problems. By reflecting wave energy, they often scour the sand at the base of the wall, causing the beach in front of them to disappear completely. Other hard structures include groins, which are rock or timber walls built perpendicular to the beach to trap sand from longshore drift and breakwaters, which are offshore walls that break the force of waves before they reach the coast. In contrast, soft engineering approaches aim to work with natural processes to protect the coast. These solutions are often more sustainable, aesthetically pleasing, and environmentally friendly. The most popular soft engineering technique is beach nourishment, also called beach replenishment, this involves adding large quantities of sand, usually dredged from offshore, to a beach to widen it. This provides a larger buffer against storms and restores the recreational value of the beach. However, it's not a permanent solution. The new sand will eventually erode, and the process must be repeated every few years, which can be very costly. It's kind of like giving the coastline a temporary top-up of its natural defense material.